What does Movement Mortgage do differently in the process when you're working on purchasing a condo than say, you know, some other banks? So uh, the major thing is we have a passion for it. So we take it extremely important. I mean, condo living is becoming more and more and more popular because the population is increasing. The, the need for inventory is increasing. So they're converting a lot of older buildings and mills and things like that into condos. Uh, they know how to use uh, Condos utilize the same space that you would build in a, a housing neighborhood in, but they can uh, pump in more units and more living space with a condo. So you see more and more new construction condos going up to be able to, uh, to, to, you know, meet the demand for housing. So with us and us being a purchase money lender, we really need to be on the cutting edge on being able to get condo purchasing done. Now, the main thing is, is that uh, uh, condos are governed by an association, whether they're self-managed or they have contracted out with a property management company. And you pay your HOA fee to be able to uh, contribute towards the management, um, you know, expenses of it, making sure the insurance is a good uh, common properties, uh, common elements like pools and tennis courts and basketball things that, that are normally in condos are all well maintained and taken care of. When you're using mo mortgage money to purchase a condo, you might be a very, very well qualified buyer that can have no problem borrowing hundreds of thousands of dollars, but what are we, what are you spending your money on? We really got to have to take a look at how that condo specifically to that, to that condo complex is being ran. Residential lenders get jammed up with uh, approving condos, whereas movement mortgage being a correspondent lender and having a passion to be really great at condos and doing a bulk of our business overall in the condo market. Um, we've, I developed relationships with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and FHA and VA. So that way we know exactly what the guidelines are requiring in order for us to fund those loans. Yeah. The biggest thing, you know, out there, if you're purchasing a condo is making sure that the lender is an approved financer of the condo complex. Can your pre-approval, the lender that gave you your pre-approval close it on a condo in there, no matter what, like, can they get the deal done? And that's information that it can be taken care of right off, right off the bat. I mean, um, you know, with us and the way that we work, um, you know, in our day to day is that, you know, as a listing agent, it's, you should have, you should have the wherewithal to go that extra length with your preferred condo lender and say, Hey, I got this condo coming up. W would you mind taking a look at it to see what financing options you have just in case another buyer comes in with a bank that can't close we have a backup option. Matt, so can you let us know what, what is exactly a non-warrantable condo? So a non-warrantable condo is a condo that doesn't meet certain guidelines dictated by Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and therefore they are um, outside the risk, the, 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 the normal risk layer that we have set up for these. So for instance, what would be a non-warrantable condo? is, you know, if the association doesn't have enough insurance coverage or doesn't have enough reserves, their budget is off. When you get into this, these, these condos in the homeowners association, there's a lot, it's very complex and there's a lot that can throw off the non-warrantable, um, you know, category. Some mortgage companies don't want to be bothered with them because there's so much other business out there. So they don't want to allocate their resources and their operation staff and their departments to be able to figure out something like that, because they just rather uh, assign that to some, you know, a, a, use those resources to help other people buy other types of properties. But with us, we did $2 billion in condo uh, financing last year. So that's bigger than some mortgage companies. Like they don't do 2 billion total. And we did it just in condos.